Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. As part of locus problems, in this session we will look at how to find out locus of midpoint of a sliding rod. So let us say that there is wall. There is wall and there is ground which are at 90 degrees with each other and there is a rod which is sliding let us say that that's a rod which is sliding now we have to find out the locus of midpoint of this rod we can take the length of the rod as l in this example we will take the length of the rod as 5 units so we have been given that length of the rod is 5 units now we know that the wall is vertical and the ground is horizontal so if we look into coordinate geometry we know the coordinates here will be x coordinate comma y coordinate is 0 so can I write down as a comma 0 similarly here we know it is equal to 0 comma p now we have to find out the locus of midpoint of the sliding rod so what's the meaning of that this a comma z a comma b are different values which satisfies the geometric condition that the length of the rod remains the 5 units so let us take two points here this is point a and this is point b now the rod may slide in this direction so that the point of contact on the ground will be moving in rightward direction as it goes down so we know that whenever the rod is placed there will be a midpoint so next time when it slides also I will have midpoint let us say again the rod slides let us say the rod slides it will be like this again if let us say at the end if it slides completely so it will be like it will be a horizontal line so when it slides we always can see that there is a midpoint so for this case the midpoint is here and for this case the midpoint is here now we have to find out the locus of midpoint so what is the midpoint of a so what is the condition that needs to be satisfied the condition that needs to be satisfied is length of a b is equal to 5 units so whatever the coordinates a and b can have the rod length cannot change it should remain as the same only now we using the distance formula we know square root of a minus 0 whole square plus 0 minus b whole square is equal to 5 squaring on both sides I can write down a square plus b square equal to 25 that means as long as the values of a and b satisfies the condition that a square plus b square equal to 25 so we can easily we know that all those points will be a uh, all those points we can trace them out then we can easily find out the midpoints so what we will do first we will try to find out what will be those points what can be those points let us write down here a and b let us say a equal to 0 b is 5 suppose i say a equal to 5 b equal to 0 suppose i say a equal to 3 we know 3 4 5 are pythagorean triplets so b is 4 if i take a equal to 4 b equal to 3 now we'll solve this problem in two ways one we will do it in graphically another we do algebraically for doing graphically what we do is very simple we try to find out how these lines will be when a is 0 b is 5 a is 5 b is 0 we'll plot the graph then we'll try to connect all the midpoints and we will see what will be the locus what will be the path of the locus let us see what will be it after that we will solve the problem algebraically to solve this problem graphically what we will do generally we solve it by algebraically but why i am going ahead with the solution of 
showing it to you graphically because that will give you understanding that what actually we are doing when we are solving algebraically what is that so how we can how we can understand it better that's why we are doing graphical solution then we will go to the algebraical solution so i know i have here a comma b values so what we will do we'll try to place the rod at a different different positions and we'll try to find out the midpoints and you know locus is nothing but collection of all the points which satisfies the condition now the locus should be midpoint of this rod at a particular instant so we'll find out that we will join them and let us see what interesting information we can get from there oh, so let's go ahead now the first thing a equal to 0 b equal to 5 or let us go with something let us say a equal to 5 b equal to a equal to 4 b equal to 3 so starting from 4 i have to go to 3 so that is one position where the rod can be another thing is a equal to 3 and b equal to 4 so that is the another position where the rod can be and another one is a equal to 5 b equal to 0 that means in this scenario it's actually like the rod has fallen completely and it is on the ground okay we can also take one scenario where it is completely vertically it's standing then slowly it started started sliding in the horizontal direction so it can be a equal to a equal to 0 b equal to 5 so a equal to 0 b equal to 5 a equal to 5 b equal to 0 a equal to 3 b equal to 4 a equal to 4 b equal to 3 now all these we have taken now let's try to identify where are the midpoints for this first i will take a equal to 0 b equal to 5 so the midpoint will come somewhere here Similarly, if I take a equal to 5, b equal to 0, the scenario on which the rod is completely on the ground, the midpoint will be somewhere here. So, remember that these are the points which I have to join because we are interested in finding out the midpoint of sliding rod. We found out some, some positions based on that we want to draw the locus. We want to find out how the locus will be. So, we join all the points, we should be able to find out the locus okay let's go to the other one suppose let us say a equal to 3 b equal to 4 a equal to 3 so the midpoint will be 1.5 here and b equal to 4 so the midpoint will be 2 here so i have to go to 1.5 and 2 so that will be another point similarly let us say a equal to 4 and b equal to 3 so this will be another point now these are the points what we got and you can see that you can see that we have when it is 5 comma 0 it is 2.5 0 comma 5 it is 0 comma 5 it is again 2.5 so let's try to join all these points and see what type of curve we will get so for that what we will do we'll take these points and join them Now you can see that that is nothing but a quadrant of a circle. Because you can take any of these points and find out the distance between them. You see that the distance is nothing but equal to 2.5. So this is a quadrant of a circle. What's the meaning of that? That means the locus of midpoint of sliding rod is a circle. So if we have been asked only to give you the give the shape we can immediately say that the locus is nothing but circle now let's go ahead and try to solve it algebraically okay let's solve it algebraically now let us say that this is point a this is origin o and this is b now this rod is sliding we have to now we know already that the locus is circle now let's see how we can find out it's a circle now since it is a slippery rod and it is sliding so we we can't fix the a and b positions we already seen that it can be b can take so many values at the same time a also can take point can have so many different values so let us say a is a comma zero b is zero comma b which is which is okay because it's on x-axis so y coordinate is zero and y axis x coordinate equal to 
0. So, now what is the condition that needs to be satisfied whether the rod is sliding down? We are okay with that, but the length cannot change. So, I know that AB equal to 5 units and you already, he, we have seen that what is the condition we can get from that? We can get that A square plus B square equal to 25. Okay. Now, we are interested in the midpoint of this rod. So, let us say that the locus is given by x1, comma y1. So, then that point will be somewhere, the, that point will be exactly the midpoint of this. So, let us say that th this is nothing but locus, point on locus. A locus, a point on this particular locus is x1 comma y1. Now what we know from coordinate geometry, we know that midpoint of midpoint of AB is x1 comma y1. But we know A comma B coordinates, so we can easily find it out. That is nothing but A plus 0 by 2 comma 0 plus B by 2. This should be equal to x1 comma y1. Now we are able to establish a relation between x1 and A. x1 is A by 2 comma y1 equal to b by 2 which I can write down as a equal to 2x1 comma b equal to 2y1. Now we know a square plus b square equal to 25. Let's go ahead and substitute there. We will have 2x1 whole square plus 2y1 whole square is equal to 25. Simplify that you will get x1 square plus y1 square equal to 25 by 4 or in the final step, we will remove x1, y1 and make it as generic or arbitrary x square plus y square equal to 25 by 4 which is nothing but a circle with a circle with center at 0 comma 0 and radius radius is equal to 5 by 2 that is what we have seen earlier. So, the locus of midpoint of sliding rod is always a circle with center at 0 comma 0 and radius equal to L by 2. Here L is 5, that is why it is 5 by 2. And so, what are the steps we have to follow to solve the locus problems? The first thing is, we have to understand what is the geometric condition. The geometric condition here is the length of the rod remains as 5. So, we try to get that condition. After that, we try to find out the relation between the locus, the point on the locus and the given variables. So, we know that locus of midpoint, that means these two points, midpoint should be x1, comma y1. Based on that, we can establish relation between a and x1 and b and y1. Now, we can go back to our geometric condition, whatever is given a b equal to 5 and substitute there, we can get the locus of the midpoint of sliding rod which is nothing but a circle the locus of midpoint of sliding rod is a circle with center at origin 0 comma 0 and the radius equal to 5 by 2 we'll do more interesting examples and problems in the coming sessions thanks for your time and support i'll catch you again till then keep smiling and sharing bye